Hello, villagers. How's it going? I'm gonna do a little nighttime walk in here. Got some Christmas stuff set up here. Turn this volume down a little bit. Um, starting to decorate the island a little bit for Christmas. Got some Amazon packages. Make sure I water it. Okay, I always plant a gyroid there when I get the fragment. I don't know if I have anybody on the island right now walking around. I guess it's possible. I already took my cap and tour today, so I can't go out on the island. Started setting up the farm right here, but I don't really I don't know what I want to do with it. It's a big area it takes up, but I also have all these flowers over here that I don't need. So I'm thinking maybe I get rid of some of the flowers and just spread the farm over that way. I was originally going to put it up here, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I removed all the stuff and moved down there, so now I just have to clear this area back out. Let's we'll see if we can find anybody crafting. Crafting or cooking. back there. I believe I need two villager pictures yet. I just got Violet's the other day so she can move out whenever she wants. I do leave a few pumpkin decorations out on my island year round. I just rotate them. Actually, I have one I didn't put out yet. This one is the luxury car, then the little compact car. I'll leave them turned off for now. Let me see if I have it in my pockets. I did just get an excavator. Excavator? However you say that the other day, but I didn't get a chance to put that out yet to see how big that actually is. So let me come up here to an open area and I'll drop it. This is where I'm going to put up some Christmas decorations. it I was thinking it's gonna be like one of the big items so <laughs> that'll be great if I go to drop it and it's just like a little tiny toy but I don't think it is so here we go dropping the excavator yep it's a big one Let's see what it does it's pretty neat a lot of the items in the update that are huge they look awesome but I don't know if I'm gonna leave something like this out can't rotate it here. I want to take a look and see what it looks like. There we go. It's pretty neat. I like that item. I wonder if 
that has different colors. I get my pocket and when I go visit uh, Reese and Cyrus, I'll see if they can customize it or I'll see if I could do it on my own. I'm not too sure. I haven't figured out what I want to do with the Christmas decorations that I have. I have some of them at home yet too, I just never got all that stuff out yet. I don't know if I checked Nook Shopping today. All just fossils anyway. I'm kind of hoping I can get her photo just so I can get her moving. I don't like, I don't like her at all. Her hair really uh, drives me nuts. be about 12.30 a.m. my time, which actually means the, oh here we go, the new episode of the Animal Crossing Advent Calendar should probably be posted as well for December 4th. Okay, Chrissy, I'm tired here. Pretty sure that's one of the first things I learned. I usually don't go for the lazy eye villager, like the with the purple eyelids showing, but when I dressed up for Santa this time around, I figured I'll change up the look. So I went with the with the old sleepy eye, sleepy or lazy eye, whatever you want to call it. I've never used that one, and it actually in older Animal Crossing games, when I would, if I would end up getting that one, I would uh, reset it so I got something different. I never cared for these eyes, but on this one, they look pretty good. Might as well check out everyone's house. We'll go see what Cat's doing. Of course, just sitting down. I don't need to give her anything anyway. That's one of the rare times when you could walk in and walk out and they don't make the exclamation point. But I guess because she was busy. Check out what Marshall's doing. Oh no. Marshall, say it ain't so, you're sick. Alright, let me run home and get some medicine for old Marshall. He does not look good. This happened to me once before. Somebody was sick, and I ran home to get medicine, and when I came back, there was a bra. So hopefully, Marshall stays awake, and hopefully he stays alive. I'm going to go see if I have medicine at home. Sure. Oh, Marshall. Feel bad for you, buddy. I haven't. I I have a bad habit of not checking in on my villagers. So Marshall's probably been sick for a month. Let's see what I got. I guess if I don't have any, I could just craft some. Oh, here we go. Of course. Push the wrong button anyway. While I'm here, I'll see if I can if I can customize the excavator. I don't probably. Push in and violet mode. That's about it. Oh boy. Camel frog, I'm kinda busy here. Marshall needs my help. And you're gonna come busting in. It's actually pretty rare. I haven't had a villager ask me to come over yet. I think it was just one time the first day, but 
I'll get villagers popping in my house all the time. All right, camel frog, look. Let me show you around. Here you go. Let's go downstairs. In previous games, when the villagers would come in, they would like follow you around everywhere. You couldn't get away from them. Now, I don't know if it's gonna come down. If he is, I'm gonna get him to sit right here and I'll record a podcast. The other day, um, Chrissy stopped over, and I was just standing there because I was actually doing something else. And then she was like, "Well, I guess I'm not allowed to There you go. Yeah, get out. It was a gas, wasn't it? I'm glad that they incorporated that back into the game, though. I definitely missed that. In, in previous games, though, one of the things they would do is they'd be like, all right, I want you to come over. Um, how about 3 o'clock? And you had to uh, agree on a time. And if you missed it, they let you know. All right, let's get Marshall's medicine. Hopefully he's still alive. Sick now. I, I'm, not, I'm not able to give him anything else since I gave him medicine for the day. I believe. Let me try that. Yeah, because he'll just be talking about the medicine. This is this is my house. Like I said, I got her photo the other day, so she can she can scoot on out of Hollow Cove. I don't want her here. Look at her. Not a fan at all. Let's see what she has to say. Though. She does say farts. That's for sure. There was one time when I forgot that I had an item in my hand. Now again, in, in New Horizons, I think you could hold on to it for a day or two. Definitely more than one. In past games, if you didn't take care of that that day, it would be no good. But I have a habit of returning everything. I always do that, but on one day, one day on this one, I forgot to hand something in. So. That's why if you notice in my living room in my house there was a book sitting on the ground, I was not able to return it. Oh yeah, I don't have uh, Cherry's photo. Forgot about Cherry. She was one of the newest addition here. A couple months ago I did a drawing. I believe I posted it up on Instagram, but it was of a, a fake band and I put Cherry in the band. Harold was the vocalist, and he was like screaming. It was like a death metal band, and Flick. That was a while ago, though. So if you want to check that out, you probably could find it. Just have to dig around a little bit. I did have a villager or two move out and I, forgot, I didn't get a chance yet to put their tombstone up here. So what I've been doing um, 
when a villager moves out, I basically act as if they died. Just kind of set up a little site up here. I believe Dottie, Cookie, and I think, yeah, I think maybe three, three of these six people ended up in one of my kids' villages or island randomly too and it was like probably a month or two after they left mine so i wonder how long a villager will just kind of float around for and they are definitely the same ones because they had some of the sayings and some of my items uh, clothing and stuff like that god i had a little snowman over here i used to have him standing in front of a fire pit I'll go upstairs in the house. I've been setting up all of my uh, gyroids on the walls just because I needed to uh, record some audio for something. So I wanted to set all of them out. But the room's pretty, pretty crazy sounding up here. Actually, better off to go into uh, camera mode just because. one is my favorite gyroid yet. These are actually all the ones that I have. I did get a couple of duplicates, so I don't have those out. From the direct, one of the cooler ones that I saw, I haven't received yet. I'll show you this one. It's ridiculous. Uh, top right. That little gray one with the big eyes and the jiggly arms. set up in this room so this is just the natural gyroid music or sound that they're playing depending on what you put in here they'll kind of make their sounds along to the music but that's just the gyroid in their natural habitat of music so here's the book that i forgot to drop off one day so now it just sits there pet turtle KK Robot Synth playing on the radio. It's one of my new favorite ones. I like the randomness of the roost every once in a while someone will just pop in but i can't get enough of, of his eyebrow flutter like when you when you talk to brewster every once in a while sometimes his eyebrows will like like they're real real fluid he loves it i love the coffee i love everything about this ordering coffee here the randomness of like when he offers you pigeon milk. I haven't offended him yet once. I haven't like said no or ill gross. <laughs> I basically just go with everything that he says. 
just because I want to get all of the items that he has to offer me, and then after that, maybe I'll mess around with him a little bit. Alright, probably... I was kind of hoping it would have been for one of the bigger milestone coffee ones. If I just got that now, that means I didn't go to the roost today. I thought I went this morning um, before I went to work. Apparently I did not. It's a good thing I came down here. Let me make sure I have everything cleared out of here. Yeah. Maybe I'll get another one to go. And do both methods here. Yeah, come on. I'm standing here for a reason. I like though after you buy a certain amount of cups of coffee from him as you're leaving he's like oh I wanted to talk to you about something and then he'll give you some a reward basically like the Brewster rewards program Sure, if you've given the roost the you know the proper attention it deserves and looked around at everything. I just looked like a like a dog turned in my head. So much little detail in the roost, I love it. Okay, no rewards this time. I think I have one more reward to get from him. I know what it is. I won't spoil it, though. But I think that's where we'll wrap up this recording. I was actually just testing out some Stream Deck stuff, so that's why I figured I would jump on. So I want to go play around with that for a little bit. But yep, make sure... You are listening to the Animal Crossing Advent Calendar, which I'm posting every day. Started December 1st, and it'll be going until December 25th. You could listen to it wherever you get podcasts. Um, all the links are in my social media as well, so if you want to follow all of that, it is at Rooster's Roost. So, thanks for watching. If anybody ends up watching this later, um, you could leave uh, comments and stuff on there as well. I usually don't post any of these things over on YouTube, but I might I might just start sending some videos over there just so they're cataloged on there because they do disappear off of Twitch after a while. But if you stuck around and watched or if you watch later, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're um, following me everywhere else, and I'll talk to you later. So don't let that coffee cool too much. <laughs>